Right, it's drawing a third angle orthographic projection of this pulley that I've got in my hands. We're going to have to choose a view showing the front view and the left view. Okay, I'm going to choose this view over here as being my front view. And I'm going to choose this side over here, obviously, as being my left view. With my front view, I'm going to draw it somewhere over here. With my left view, I'm going to draw it somewhere over there. You can see that I've put a little bit of tipex on there to show the left-hand side. And that tipex on the wheel showing that that is the left-hand side. You can see the movement from there to there. And you'll be able to see that better as I get along and draw this thing. Right, step number one. We are going to get some dimensions from this. I'm going to start by drawing the left view. And the way we do that is I get a radius off there showing me the side of it. And I'm going to pop that in there and draw a circle. There we go. With that radius. I'm then going to take my pair of compasses over here and I'm going to get a very small circle in the center, a very small one, and it's got a radius of about that. Go to the center over here for that. Oops. There we go, okay. But we know that the inside groove of this pulley needs to be shown, okay? So I'm going to get a radius from here, okay, more or less from there to there, and I can now take that and I can draw hidden detail going around here, hidden detail. Okay, you can see my little dashes going around there. Once I've got that, I'm going to draw the top part of this thing. Now I'm going to draw it a little bit more curved off at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a center line going up here. A little short dash in the middle. Long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash. And coming down, long dash, Short dash, long dash, going through the center over here, short dash in the middle, long dash, long dash, short dash, short dash, long dash, long dash, and I need to know a height above that center, so I'm going to just mark that off, take this, take it up to about there. And I'm going to mark that off over here. And then I'm going to take a radius of about that measurement over there, which I'll give you later. You'll see when I dimension the drawing so that you've got the right dimensions. There we go. I'm going to take that and I'm going to draw a nice little curve at the top here. Just a very faint curve. Some more ink on there. There we go. Like that. And now what I can do is I can draw some tangents to that. There we go. There's a tangent there and a tangent there. Right, there is our pulley from the side. And I can now take that across and I can draw the front view of it. I'm taking all of these lines across so that I've got enough detail when I draw my... I'm just going to draw the center lines here. Always remember, as soon as you've got an arc or a circle, you must draw center lines. This is the way that we get our things all lined up. Right, I'm going to start out and I'm going to draw the side of the pulley. Right, there's the side of the pulley, 
just drawn a line down there. Then you can see that there's a piece of material going down. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to draw a piece of material going down. But you can see where I stopped it. Can you see the center? And I'm going to take this measurement over here and draw another line going down from the side. Go across. There it is. You can see the two sides of the pulley. I now need to draw the actual pulleys themselves inside there um, after I've drawn the middle part of this thing. Let me just draw that middle part. You see, I'm not doing too much measurements here. I just want an impression as to what this thing looks like. Please excuse the interruption. Could Tanika possibly call at the office now? Thank you. All right, there we go. That's the top of the pulley. All right, you can sort of see the idea, and I've got to draw those two little wheels in here. How I want you to do that, you draw the edges of the pulleys. There we go. That's an edge of the pulley. Come in here. Edge of a pulley. Edge of the pulley. Other edge of the pulley. Right. Top and the bottom of them. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And then I am not asking you to use a pair of compasses to draw the little curves in here. Can you see the little curve over there? I'm just going to ask you to freehand that in to give an impression of that little groove of the pulley. All right, there we go, and there we go. There's the front view of your pulley. Right, once you've done that, you're going to do a mirror image of that so that you get another set of pulleys, one facing in the opposite direction, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. by placing that over there, and you can see all the dimensions. Okay, I want you to note how the dimensioning is being done on here. Give as many dimensions as you possibly can. Give the height of the pulley, the width of the pulley, the width or the length of the pulley at least over there. Um, show the diameters, note the diameter sign over there. Um, and then you can see I've got the same sort of information going on over here with the, um, the pulley at the bottom. So you've got a pulley there, and you've got a pulley there, and once you've done that, we're going to then be able to draw in the ropes that are going to connect those two pulleys. Right, that's the end.